Hello, I'm Jen Lindells from Core Philosophy. Today we're going to go over short box abdominals from the Reformer 1 module. Um, there's two different versions, there's round back and flat back, so I'll show you both. To start out, obviously you want your box in the short box position. Depending on how tall you are, you may have to have your box over your shoulder blocks. Um, you can also adjust where you are in the gears. And you're going to have all of your springs on because you're not trying to move the carriage, you just want to stay nice and secure. Go ahead and add your springs. Your foot bar can be back and out of the way, and you want your strap. So you're going to come up and have a seat on your box and tuck your toes. All right, so I have my pole. You don't have to have a pole. You can have your arms just crossed in front of your chest. You can hold on to a circle if you want. Um, either holding on so you're squeezing it or pressing out, depending on what you're looking for. But for round back, you're going to start sitting up nice and tall, shoulder blades sliding down. You're going to feel like you're trying to pull the pole apart just a little bit to get some engagement under your shoulder blades. Then you're going to inhale and start to curl yourself back. Take a little breath of air here so you know a nice long C curve. Going only as long as you can still keep that scoop. And exhale, return, find your sit bones, stack up to tall. Sit down nice and tall, shoulder blades sliding down, pulling that pole apart a little bit. You're going to exhale, tuck your tail under just a little bit, curl back. Take an inhale here, exhale. Round over your legs and stack back up. So you're going to curl back. You can either just bring yourself back up or you can round up and over your legs. It just says roll back up. I kind of like to round over, find my sit bones, and stack back up. But either way is fine. Okay, and then for the flat back or straight back, version of this exercise, you're going to start sitting up nice and tall, again with the pole if you want or arms crossed, and then you're just going to inhale to lengthen nice and tall. You're going to keep the front and back of your body working together so you're staying nice and lengthened, and lean away. Hold it here, take an inhale, and exhale to return. So your focus will change. You're kind of re looking straight out over your pole here, leaning back, Pole does lift, you're looking right at the ceiling or maybe at where the ceiling and the wall meet and bring yourself back up. The trick I use here to keep, if I'm having trouble or if my client's having trouble with keeping long back, is I put the pole behind me. That way I can feel my sacrum, my ribs, and the back of my head on the pole. And I just link, same breath, inhale to prepare, exhale, lean away. If I'm coming away from my bar here, I can feel that and bring it up. I usually do a couple and then switch hands just so that you've got a good stretch on both sides. Growing taller, lean away. Ribs are closed here. You let your abs help you bring you back up. Lean away, hold it here, inhale, and exhale to return. And bring it up, good. Got a little shaking in there. Good work. Okay, so I think that's it for that one. There's not a whole lot of other modifications other than um, you can add a weighted bar to add a little bit more work. You can also just bring your arms up overhead and do picture frame the whole way down and up for either uh, round back or flat back. And just making sure that the toes are nice and tucked and just finding that good C curve or really working to keep the front and back of the body working together. So if you want to see this and other exercises in more of a flow and join us for classes, please join us at Core Philosophy Virtual, where you can do either Reformer or Mac classes anytime, anywhere that it works for you. And if you have any questions or want to see any other exercises, please let me know in the comments below. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.